sunscreen doesn't work on me. Well, actually, that's a lie. It does work on me, but it doesn't work on this person. And this is the video we're going to be reacting to. Sunscreen doesn't work on me. Hi, my name is Selena. Well, hello, Selena. Do you know the feeling of having an annoying sister in your life who is just there to ruin everything? To be honest, I don't. I, I don't have a sister. Well, mine is a psycho jealous sister. She used my condition against me, but I got rid of her eventually. You see, I was born uh, to super, <laughs> super rich parents who owned more than half the city. And half after I was city. born, they just went crazy with happiness. On my first tooth party, my dad organized a walk. First tooth party? Is that a thing? Okay, maybe it is. Oh, okay. Like getting the first. Well, actually, is that still a thing? When you get your first tooth, you have a party? I wouldn't remember because I don't remember when I was that young. And I'm sure you guys don't remember when you're that young either. But at first when she said that, I thought it was like, you lost your first tooth. And I was like, did I have a party when I lost my first tooth? But maybe you do. I don't even know, guys. I'm just gonna stop talking. Party for all the kids. But when mom brought me outside, I started yelling and my oh, skin my turned goodness. super red, like blood. Luckily, there was a doctor in the crowd and he came running to help. I was diagnosed with extreme photosensitivity that would only increase as I aged. Basically, I could never step out in the sun without getting burned. After that, my that parents always kept me indoors during the day and all the windows were covered with black curtains. Sounds like me, guys, trapped inside. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't go outside, but actually I've been going outside quite a bit lately. Well, like, look, at I'm so pale, like I need to get a tan. If you look here, I'm gonna try and show you guys. I think you might be able to tell, like right here, I'm a bit tanned right here, I'm like super white. I'm getting there, guys. If you guys follow my Instagram, you'd know that. Make sure you guys go follow it. But because you're wearing stuff when you're dirt biking, this is the only part that has been open to the sun. <laughs> Once when I was four, I cried and said, I want to go to school and have friends. Oh, honey, you can't, but we'll bring them both to you. We'll hire private teachers oh, for you and we'll get you a pet. A they pet. got me a really cute okay, hamster. I thought they were going to like pay friends or because like they're, they own half of the city. They're so rich. They're going to like make out a school in their own house or something. But no, just a, a pet. I mean, that's still good. Actually, guys, speaking of pets, as of the date that I'm filming this tomorrow, I'm going back to Manitoba for a week, which if you guys don't know is where I was born and everything. All my friends and family are there. And like four months ago, I moved and I get to go see my three cats for the first time in four months. I'm excited. Best friend. All was good until my little sister was born. Her name was Rita. And she was pure evil. I discovered she was jealous of me once she turned three. She knew about my condition, but she was still angry that my parents oh. paid more attention to me. She's not on her out. third birthday, she got me a piece of cake with a candle on it and said, Now this candle will burn you. <laughs> no, Jeez. honey, I'm Maybe. only allergic to the sun, not candles. Oh, so it won't hurt you? Well then, okay. And with that, she threw the candle on my bed and the blanket instantly caught fire. Jeez. I started yelling for my Crazy parents sister. and I almost got hurt getting out of the room. Once when I was eight, Rita threw a tantrum that she wanted to be homeschooled like me. But of course, my parents refused. What made things worse was what happened on my 10th, birthday, on 10th birthday when my parents invited everyone oh. to a super fancy restaurant at night. One that, sophisticated. It lasted till the morning time and she got exposed to the sun. Nah, that's, I don't think that's gonna happen. You'd think that might happen because they're, they're outside, but no, I don't think that's what's gonna happen. And if you guys are wondering what this is, watch this. Saw me and said to mom, Oh, your daughter is very pretty. Like, too pretty. But the other one, oh, <laughs> she's not pretty, like at all. Who oh, says that? Yes, the youngest one is just ugly. I wonder if she'll ever get married. Just then, Rita stood <laughs> up and that? flung no, juice straight at the women's faces. Then she turned to me. You just wait and watch, Selena. I'm gonna make you wish you were the ugliest girl on the planet. You'll be praying to God to make you ugly. That night, Jeez. I was asleep when I heard Scary some noises. Sister. I opened my eyes to see Rita holding a big poster of her drawings. Things like her hanging someone up, crucifying others and taking someone's eye out do you see this eye it's your i think that sister should not be living with them like i, I would not be able to sleep if that was my sister i would locks on my door it's crazy man <laughs> babe but one day it's gonna be mine i stood up and pushed her away and locked the door behind her yeah lock it she was it. a total psycho over the coming years rita like just that. wouldn't understand that i got special treatment because of my condition I tried to reason with her, so oh, I nice. thought maybe throwing a party where we could both invite our friends would help us get closer. What a stupid decision that was. I was 13 back then and invited the only two friends I had, Mark and Emily, 
while Rita invited half the school. Suddenly, during the party, Rita stood in front of everyone holding up a drawing I'd made. It was the three of us, me, Mark, and Emily. Listen here, everyone. So our princess Selena can draw, but she also has a little secret. Let me read it for you. I'm so in love with Mark, but I also love Emily. I will soon ask them both out and kiss them both at the same time. I will kidnap Emily if she rejects me. We will be the happiest lovers triangle. Everyone went silent and Mark and Emily turned red. I couldn't believe my sister would lie like that. No, you liar. I didn't write that. You just came up with it. Why are you so evil? Why are you so perfect? What does it have I'm to do not, with Rita. I wish I was normal just like you. Oh, like me? You wish. I would never have a boyfriend and a girlfriend at the same time. That's just shameless. Ew. You do that to the only two people who like you? That's just dumb and gross. Just stop it. Just then, Let's Mike took me. Emily's hand and left. I was so shocked and embarrassed that I didn't even stop them. I just went to my room and locked the door, and the party continued like nothing had happened. After that day, I knew I had to teach Rita a lesson, and I knew that the best way to tease her was to live my life to the fullest. Wait, what? What the, what the, what the, what the hell is that? What's going on, man? How do, what does this have to do with the sun and sunscreen? Sunscreen doesn't work on me. The title should be, My Psycho Sister is Trying to Ruin My Life or something. Like, what's going on? Is she gonna like... I get it. The sister is being mean because she doesn't realize that the reason she's getting homeschooled and all this stuff is because she can't go outside because of her condition. So what's gonna happen? She's gonna go outside, show her. Look it, I can't go outside in the sun. And then she'll be happy. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. Very next day, I invited Mark over. When he came to my room, I made sure to leave the door open so Rita could hear everything. Mark, I'm really sorry about last night. You know that my sister is... Listen, Selena, I don't believe a word your psycho sister says, but I was just too embarrassed to say, so I left. I put my finger on his mouth and pulled him closer to kiss him. Mwah. Will you be my boyfriend, Mark? So it wasn't a he lie. He said yes, and we hugged. <laughs> then I heard Rita's room door close very hard. In your face, witch. Over the next two years, Rita was always making it obvious how jealous she was of me for having a boyfriend. She even tried to break into my room several times. Once, she used a knife to open it, but luckily I was ready. I attacked her with pepper spray and ran to my parents. Once, she brought home a boy who was four years older than her. Dad totally lost it and kicked him out. My parents were getting so tired of her craziness. But the last straw was when she called the police at midnight once. To my horror, she slipped her t-shirt off her shoulder to show scratches on her skin, and she pointed accusingly at Mark. Th that boy, he's dangerous. He attacked me. I barely managed to escape. What? My parents told the cops that she was making it all up, and Mark would never do such a thing. What is this? This, this ending must have something to do with the sun. Gosh, if you're so jealous, just get yourself a boyfriend, you ugly psycho bimbo. I expected her to say something harsh, but instead she started crying and fell on her knees. She looked up pleadingly at the cops. See? See how my family treats me? Just take me away from them. Please, help me. Please save me. What an actress. Next morning, my parents took Rita to a psychologist. Turned out, my sister had some issues and needed therapy every few days. But she didn't take that so well. After a few days, when I got back from my date with Mark, outside. I found... Okay, it's dark out. I understand now. But actually, I was about to say too earlier, how does she like have these two friends if she never goes outside? I guess she goes outside at night when there's no sun, right? Makes sense. Rita had prepared meat sandwiches uh, don't for need me. It. What don't did she it. want? To yeah, poison don't need me? It. I said no That's and went to my scary, room. Though. I you won't take something that your sister made because you're scared of it being poisoned. I wanted to feed my little hamster, but I didn't uh -oh. find him there. I started looking oh, everywhere. I the then food. it hit hamster me. Food. Oh my god. I ran back to her. Where is my hamster? I don't know. What did you do to my hamster? I don't know. Mom, Dad, Rita ate my hamster. Ate? And then I passed out. When I woke up, my parents told me that they had talked to Rita's doctor and she might be admitted to a psychiatric ward. I wasn't really- How do you come to the conclusion that she ate it? Like, she didn't hide it under the bed or- 
um, let it go outside or something. No, she ate it. How do you, how do you come to that conclusion? I don't know. They hear that, but I knew it was for everyone's safety. A month later, Rita was gone and transferred to that hospital. Life was good, and I had the best time with Mark and Emily. Four years passed, and it was the day of my graduation. I was so in love with Mark that I wanted to marry him right away, even though we were so young. He agreed, and my parents suggested he move in with us. So he did. During the day, Mark would leave for college, and I would stay home. One day, I called for the maids to get me something to eat, but no one responded. I went downstairs and found no one. Hey, then... look at the light! I thought she's supposed to have black blinds so the light can't get in. Mm, I don't know. I heard a familiar voice. I was sure it was Your the voice of my in? hamster, but what? it seemed to be coming from the backyard. I thought I'd just take a quick look and it wouldn't hurt me. But I just so popped my head out the eaten. door when oh, suddenly no. Here's the someone sun pulled me out with all their force. Oh, that's her! Hey. It's the sister! Oh my god, big plot twist! But wait, does she know about the condition or not? I, I, I still don't know because it's like she's doing all this because she doesn't realize that the reason she's getting homeschooled is because she has the condition that she can't see the sun. But does she actually know that like she has the sun condition or does she just not understand like that's why? So, I mean, at least we know that she did not eat the hamster. Oh wait, how long are, do hamsters live for? I thought they don't have a very uh, long life expectancy, but this is like four years later, right? After they graduate. Um, now we're, we're thinking too much now. But the hamster is alive, which is good. She used the hamster to trap her. Now she's outside. Let's see what happens. What are you doing here? Oh, well, they decided to let me go. I feel much better, actually. You really thought your hamster came back to life? Are you still that dumb, you spoiled daddy's girl? And then she pulled me out more and I was under direct sunlight. It started to hurt my skin and I screamed. Then I attacked her. One of the maids heard us and came running. When Rita saw her, she let me go and ran away. Thankfully, I wasn't hurt, and my parents told me that Rita had run away from the asylum and they were looking for her now. I was sad Jeez. for how things had turned out in my family, but my sadness was short-lived because I soon found out that I was pregnant. And nine months later, I gave birth at home to what? my beautiful daughter and I named her Sally. When Sally started to crawl, we all knew she was a really curious, naughty baby. That was kind of out of nowhere. The, the thing's almost over. Boom. We got a baby now. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Once, she crawled out the kitchen door oh, and out into the backyard, the and she was completely quiet. I got scared and ran after her with the maid. Or she like immune? When I got there, I saw another son, basket next to her someone. and a freaking baby in it. It was a boy. The note next to him said, this is John, your nephew. I gave birth to him months ago and wanted to raise him, but I discovered that was hard. So I sent him to you, Selena. Take care of him, I guess. I looked at the baby's face and tears rolled down my cheeks. I kissed his forehead. This Rita was full of surprises. When I was about to shut the door and run to my parents, someone Rage. pushed it against me. She was just outside again. This story's not making sense to me, guys. It was Rita. Oh, you're crying and she pulled me into the backyard again. Thankfully, the maids were able to catch her and call the police. Rita was sent to jail this time, and I got a restraining order. Me and my family were finally safe. And baby John? Yeah, he was hers, and he lived with us. I raised him like mine. And now I have four kids, and we are a happy family. Okay, are these family. real stories or not, guys? But the story should not have been called Sunscreen Doesn't Work On Me. It should be called My Sister Is Crazy Psycho. And the story doesn't... It didn't add up. She was outside half... Well, not half the time. But the last two times she went outside, she didn't burn. I don't... What's going on? Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!